Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this really fun sun catcher. And we're going to use some special adhesives, a crafty power tape, and 4x6 permanent adhesive sheets, scrapbook adhesives by 3L. I have my scissors ready. My other supplies are a piece of transparency. It's actually a graphics um, transparency that's um, called Duralex High Performance Polyester Film. And I have some stem wire that I'll be using. I just picked that up at the dollar store. I have my Spectrum Noir mar alcohol markers, but you can use regular markers if you use this special transparency film. Otherwise, you should use alcohol markers. I also have die cut, well, with my Cricut, these butterflies out of black cardstock and I you need two for one butterfly. So let's get started. Oh, and I have a Sharpie pen. So the first thing you're going to do is to take your butterfly, one of them, and trace the outside of it with your Sharpie. There you go, I've traced the outside of it. And uh, again, I used a fine tip Sharpie, but you could also use an alcohol ink pen. And then you're going to place that butterfly under the image that you have just outlined. So I'm now placing this die cut butterfly right directly under the outline, so right there. Then I'm going to take my alcohol markers and I'm going to color in the sections and I can, you know, go over. I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see this. You can go over the lines. I'm going to have to move this carefully. There. this in with the green. I've chosen a few colors. This is just a green and a blue and I think a gold. There. All right. Now, if I remove my butterfly from underneath, you can kind of see what I'm left with here. And I will just cut that out with my scissors. side edge of the black outline because I want it to be hidden behind my butterfly black die cut. All right, there's my transparency. And this is going to fit right on top, as you can see, like so. And the other one will go on the other side. So how do I stick them together? Well, that's where my wonderful adhesive sheets come in. I'm going to back up this focus here. And I'll show you what to do. You just can take out one. Again, this is a four by six size. And you just, it has a lift piece, like so, where you can lift it off from the edge. And I will place my two die cuts and 
lift off the backing. There we go. And the white is the sticky part. And lift off, put this one down. I want the adhesive on this side, so I will place this butterfly down right here, like so. And put the backing on top. And I'm going to do the other butterfly at the same time. And I want the adhesive on this side of this butterfly. So I'll flip it over and place it down like so. And then I am going to rub it a bit so the adhesive on the sheet to my die cuts. The other thing you can do with these adhesive sheets is you can actually place it on your piece of paper and then cut it or die cut it or punch it. But I decided to do it this way because I'm always doing things different ways. So then we have lift off. Now this is sticky so you want to be careful when you're taking it off that you don't rip something stays down like these little antenna but it's great coverage this these adhesive sheets for all these fine little bits on on your die cuts and I'll just show you how this looks now one thing I want to point out is I don't know if you can see but sometimes the adhesive leaves like a little bit of a webbing there on these sheets and you quite see it's very sticky you simply take um, something non-stick I have my little scissors here and I'm just going to break up that webbing and it'll just automatically move off and cling to the side of the die cut area so that's not an issue. If you do have some of that webbing left over, you just want to pull it off with your scissors like so. And just make sure that those pieces, uh, the webbing is gone or the adhesive is gone. It's not spread, spread across. Even if it does at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's invisible. So there's one butterfly I will clean off Pull off this other side. Okay, now I have my two butterflies covered with adhesive on that side. And like I showed you in my demo here, I do have um, a stem wire going through so I can pop this up in a, in a flower pot. So I'm going to take my stem wire out and it will get laid in the middle here but just to make it super secure in the center so that wire doesn't move I'm going to use my crafty power tape and stick it down in the center where the wire goes. And the beautiful thing about this crafty power tape is the dispenser does have a built-in cutting function right there but it's nice tape that you can easily rip off too if you need to just rip it off or you can cut it as well and let's just lift off the tape there and I will place my wire here. Now I get my transparency and I set that down. And if you are a bit off with your transparency, you can touch up your colors. That's nice and sticky. Uh, afterwards, and you can also trim around if your edges go over. And then I will take other side, flip it over, it has the adhesive on it, 
I want my antennas to line up. That's kind of where I'm, my antennae, that's where I'm kind of going for. Okay, that lined up really well. Doesn't that look pretty already? Now I just have to trim my transparency a little bit. And I'm ready to pop this sun catcher into a pot. And my last little trick is to make this swirly curly cue with the wire. I simply took my pencil and did some wrapping around like this. Pull out my pencil and there is my sun catcher. Thanks for joining me.